Joey Carmelo. I started DJing in 1974. I started playing when I was six. <laughs> the very first record I ever played was Shining Star by Earth, Wind & Fire. That was the first one. I played that night. I played When the Fuel Runs Out by Executive Suite. I played Cool Him Again, um, all that Philly stuff, The Love I Lost, uh, Bad Luck, all those records. Oh, Pursuit of the Pit Mobile. That's another one I played that I really love. But most of it was 45s, you know. 1975, everything happened. I mean, disco exploded in 75. You know, and um, I think that the record that really, you know, blew us up and made us understand that we could move the dial was Dreaming a Dream by Crown Heights Affair. That was a record that was 100% ours. We broke that before radio ever touched it. It was the first one that I remember on 45 that said disco version. Before disco, all the, the clubs were either black, white, Hispanic, gay, straight. It wasn't mixed. And then I, um, I ran into um, a lot of racism. I mean, when I first worked at Yesterday, my first club, uh, they, told, they told me not to play any of the N-word records, which was funk. I couldn't play funk. I couldn't even play James Brown. And I'm proud to say that I was the first DJ to take a stand to integrate clubs in Boston. 1978, when I got Disco DJ of the Year, Billboard Magazine, for the Boston market. Every night was a big night for me. But I think that the biggest night for me as a DJ, and you worked for 40 years, and you figure you've seen it all, was um, a couple of weeks ago um, here at Mobile Mondays when um, I was playing a South Soul set. We had a South Soul night. Uh, it was an extra, it was a Christmas part of the South Soul that they chose to do with Mobile Mondays. So in ret retrospect, the greatest DJ night of my life was 40 years after I started here with Mobile Monday. These kids here are absolutely unbelievable. Uh, they're smart, you know, you know, they just know their music, and, and when they don't, they come up. I mean, the biggest thrill in the world play being a DJ, especially Mobile Mondays, all the great clubs I ever played at, all the awards I won, everything I did in Boston is one of the first original first generation DJs. It was a lot of fun and a lot of satisfaction, and it got me into the record business, but nothing, nothing compares to uh, playing here with Mobile Mondays. For years, uh, you know, you sit around with people and you go to dinner and you hang out, especially with people in the music industry, and um, I tell them stories about the way it was, telling me to write a book, to write about the first generation of disco. Um, and, and I did. Uh, it's called Bet's Disco Before Travolta. But the difference between my book and all the other disco books I've read is, this is not Studio 54. This is about posing in a club. Uh, at the end of the day, Studio 54 to me meant didn't mean anything to disco. Uh, so I wrote about the first generation. This is Joey Carvello. I'm having my last damn birthday again. January 13th, right here, Mobile Mondays, at Bowery Electro. It's on 2nd Street and Bowery. Be here, be here early, and have a great time. And yes, I will take requests.